it folks, uh, we're off to uh, another little jaunt in the little old Cardi Poos and um, we're going through a place called Tibamore or Tibamore, uh, heading that way up towards Creef again and then from Creef we're going somewhere else. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of footage on the road here, I don't know whether you can hear me, I hope you can. Um, it's a little, well it is a two track road, I don't think it's a single track, um, but it's off the A85 and uh, by Hunting Tower, which is another little journey we've got to sort of squeeze in. And just a different road to go down, um, so uh, me and Corrine don't get too bored going down the A85, which is a nice road anyway. It's not too big, but this is a small country road, so uh, not much going on here. So a little bit of footage here, and then I'll turn it off, and I'll catch it a bit when we come up to something, because you don't want to just see hedges and fields and sticks etc so we'll see what we come up with um, being careful of course so I'll catch you in a bit cheers I am watching the road behind me so there's nothing coming so I think I'm waving a bit uh, anyway back to a little bit of footage again um, a little bit overcast but the sun is trying to come out uh, it is a quite a small road um, Make it out, quite a bit of countryside. It's still heading towards Creef. Oops. Um, but to the right, you can't see. Is, uh, is, could be rain, I don't know. He's just seen a rainbow, but plenty of sheep in the field anyway. But uh, uh, eating something, eating the, eating the nips. Anyway, cheers, folks. It's a very uh, mixed area here, and uh, we're still heading towards Creef on the, uh, I don't know the name of the road, um, there's somebody coming to overtake at 90 miles an hour. Um, yeah, uh, we're only doing 35-ish, but uh, there's no traffic on this road at all. Very nice road to, uh, off the A85 as I says. A uh, bit of forest, lots of open country, uh, which is very nice. Um, so I'll just put a bit here with the trees. It, it is a little bit uh, showery, very fine rain. Uh, but no, just to get out for a few hours, that's all we're uh, trying to do. Uh, nice uh, nice red tractor there, look. There you go, and around. So, a little bit more of a sight, I hope you can see that, people. Let's pull that back a bit. That's it. Oh, there's a flood. Might be not. So there you go, oh we've got deer fence up by the looks of that's deer fence. Um, they've only done some forestry work around here on the left hand side and I've got a deer fence up because they've probably got the young trees in there and the deer will just chomp through them all. So they usually put a six foot plus fence up for the deer. That's what I've done about the forest to do. They put the deer fence up and stop the deer going in. Anyway, so there's definitely some sort of bit of coppicing work there. Whoops. Um, and round gently, and that's your lot, so catch it all in a bit. Oh. Right, this is, uh, we've hit Creef now, and uh, just going down the main high street. Um, very nice place, actually, it looks like quite a few nice little shops. A nice high street, um, nice and steady. Uh, there's one or two places me and Kareem would like to come and visit round here. Um, but this is all hopefully for the uh, slightly warmer um, spring come summer months. So all we're doing at the moment, as you can see, is just having a few uh, few few hours out dr driving, um, get our bearings a bit. It's like down there. I'd like to go and have a look down there and uh, see where we go. I'm watching the uh, road quite a lot here, um, and there you go. So see what happens with the bin van and something that's nearly got runded over. I'm in no rush and I'm not going to show you the back arse of a bin van so I'll turn it off. Cheers folks. Uh, now is he going or staying or what? Uh, we, we've got... Oh. I'm just... Uh, sorry, no, that's alright, I'm watching. Just watching. Um, I've um, gone through a little bit of creep and we've just come to another little side road. Can't give you the name of the side road. It's over the, um, the River Erd 
and you take a sort of right hand turn. Um, so it's off the A822, but um, we just passed the nice woodland cemetery and this is a small uh, road again. I'll try and pick the road up and uh, put it on my uh, instructions. I think there's a small river to the right hand side and there's trees to the left hand side. Um, I'm trying to be careful, no, not much traffic on the road, I just pulled in as you say just to let some traffic pass the car. Um, but there's another one coming up the uh, back end. So. Um, I don't like to be a Sunday driver, but there you go. But there's quite a lot of trees and stuff around here. Uh, very nice drive. Um, whether anybody would want to do it. There's not many uh, pull-ins or cutouts or parking spaces, to be honest. Um, so that's the only disadvantage of this sort of place. Um, where one or two roads we've gone down before, there has been quite a lot of cut-ins and pull-ins. Um, so you can actually sort of... Um, have a break and uh, check the scenery in, um, but it's it's not a problem for that though. There's some r really nice places up here, uh, which is all what we've come for really, a drive, some lovely cottages, uh, farms, etc. Um, and as you say, I'm going to turn my camera off and I'll catch you on a bit. Cheers. Right, right. as you can see, we're um, at Loch Erne and uh, we are just popping around Loch Earn on the A85. You can't see very much of it um, because the camera's not fixed at the moment, I'm not spinning it round. Um, but we're on the A85 to Loch Earn and then we're going through um, another road on the way back because um, we're going for a picnic, as the saying goes. But you might see little glimpses of uh, the water. Um, so it's a nice enough area to gain, um, lovely views, very nice houses, cottage flats or whatever, um, but as I says I can't really, oh there's a parking space, um, I can't, and there is a few spaces to park I dare say on the summer time. Oh the ducks were there, you could have parked there. Yeah, um, but we are uh, just plenty of spaces here. It's it's for the summer holidays type of thing, um, there's quite a lot of cutouts. Lovely house. There's quite a lot of cutouts, uh, pull-ins, etc. We've just passed two or three large ones, but I reckon in the summertime it will be uh, quite busy. There's another uh, parking spot here uh, for pull-ins, um, and there's ducks about as well. I think because somebody was feeding them, so it's quite a busy little area, or it will be towards a slightly warmer weather. Um, I know you can't see much of the lock at the moment. Um, you might see it on. Oh yeah. Yeah. And there's a Korean just pointing out a caravan park on the other side. Um, but yeah. So it's. I don't know whether it's stopped raining. I think it has. I think it's just spitting really. Um, but yes, uh, not a bad little view. Um, as you can see, it's a uh, nice place, um, nice road, well maintained. I'm trying to make sure you get a bit more of the view. And lot, by the looks of it here, anyway, lots of pull-ins, uh, parking, etc. Um, have a nice journey, have a safe journey, etc. So yeah, plenty of places to pull in. Uh, some off-road as well, by the looks of it. Um, you can just see it on the left hand side of the camera, um, I won't film no more, uh, as you say, but uh, Loch Earn, E-A-R-N. Anyway, I'll catch you all in a bit folks, uh, cheers. A little bit more footage of uh, around the lock on the A85, um, it's a few feet higher, um, so no rush, as you can probably hear, nice and steady. No traffic uh, up the back so far, and I've got nothing in front of me. And um, we'll be stopping for a little uh, light lunch shortly. So, yeah, nice place. Um, certainly nice to come for a picnic in the summer, but summery months.
Lockhead Head. Lockhead Head. Lockhead Head. I think you heard that hopefully. Well, hopefully you did. Um,